Hey guys, never enough Lego with another Lego minifigure series to review. Uh, sorry it took so long to get these up. Um, haven't had a lot of time since school started. Um, so, on to Disco Bob. Or, sorry, not Disco Bob, Disco Stew. Um, pretty sure that's what his name is. Um, yeah, so he comes with the same uh, pack as all of them, except the uh, barcode is different. So, uh, on to him. Comes with the uh, black plate, as all of the minifigures do. His accessory is this dark blue pr plate, plate with uh, printing on it. Uh, it's an album, it says Brick Fever on it. Nice piece. Whoops, not the camera. Sorry about the change of location if I didn't mention that already. Um, I really like this figure, he's very nice. He has the same uh, hair piece as the uh, clown from series one, except it's black, of course. Um, and he has a uh, new face, which I really like. Um, he has purple sunglasses, and he's smiling, and you see his eyebrows there. I really like his face. And then his torso, he has purple arms, um, and he has a necklace, if you can see that. Uh, some chest hair and a vest. And uh, plain white legs. So a very nice figure. I I really like this one. It's not one uh, for really multiples like this Barton or the Karate Master and uh, people like that. But he is still a very nice figure. I really enjoy this one. Um, this one is very hard. I mean, it's not extremely hard to make a mock with him, but it's one of the more challenging ones. But um, good. Uh, the task. Um, so yeah, uh, next up is the uh, Karate Master. So this has been Never Enough Lego. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.